Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defence Universe, getting you live from DSEI in London. And friends, we are here at the India Pavilion with a name which has become synonymous with Indian defence business. We are at MKU, and uh, the brand needs no introduction, but the official standing in front of us needs a little bit of introduction. For all this while, we were talking to his dad, and now we have a change of generation. And standing in front of us is Karan Gupta, who is Vice President, New Business, son of Mr. Neeraj Gupta, who heads the company. Welcome, Karan. What a wonderful situation to have the change of baton from one generation to another. Great to see you here. Thank you so much, ma'am, for such a great uh, introduction. It's an honor to be uh, here at DSCI London 2023. And uh, MQ is a part, as you mentioned, of the India Pavilion this time. Uh, and uh, I think it was a great uh, decision for MQ to be at the India Pavilion and showcase the uh, strong relationship building between India and the UK now. Absolutely perfect. But then the fact that we are meeting at DACI, Karan, uh, what is a plan for a big British business market? Or do, do you already have an existing strong British market? So, uh, as many would be aware of, MQ has sold its products globally. And uh, we are a part of multiple social modernization programs with the British, British Armed Forces. Uh, we're working very closely with the end user and the customer and hopefully in the next one two years we should also be getting some good orders from them uh, but I can assure that we are very closely working with them and uh, we should see some good results soon. And also the fact that DACI is a global show and a very major based show for Europe and MKU, as we know, has facilities in Germany. Correct. So what is the plan to expand MKU's brand in uh, countries other than Germany? So uh, DSCI, as you said, uh, it's a global show and very prominent in Europe. So it wasn't only a platform to meet the customers in the UK, but a lot of old partners that have been working very closely with us for many years. Uh, they came to the show, so it was a good opportunity to meet them and talk about the future opportunities and the ongoing business in their uh, respective countries. And it was a great show to meet many more potential uh, partners uh, that can work with MKU to uh, expand its footprint in their own uh, regions. So it is a great show not only for the UK market, but for the global uh, defense and law enforcement market, uh, I believe. And also that when we talk of a defence show, current we uh, somehow restrict it. There is a very big homeland security market to which you cater. Yes. And uh, can you tell us something about the police forces and the homeland security forces which use your product? So, uh, over the years, NQ has sold its products to more than 100 countries. Over 230 forces use our products. Uh, today, uh, if I talk about the recent years, we have exported from India in very large numbers to South America, in uh, Asia, in uh, Africa, and we are now also starting to supply our products to countries in uh, Europe. We have recently won uh, a helmet contract in the Nordic region, uh, and the supplies will be starting in the next one, two months. Uh, and this particular order that I'm talking about in the Nordic region in Europe is for the uh, state border security forces and uh, we're very proud to be supplying them with the latest uh, ballistic helmets uh, from MKU. And uh, you know what what is the expansion plan as far as product base is concerned? Uh, so we continue to focus uh, more on electro-optics. Uh, we started with in 2016 with a very humble uh, beginning with one or two products Today that uh, electro-optic range has grown from one to products to over 10 uh, industrialized solutions in the soldier electro-optic space and we continue to invest in the electro-optic space to increase the portfolio. Uh, we're showcasing here our latest aviation night vision goggles uh, that is a new development. Very soon we will be launching more solutions in the optronic space. So that's on the new technology side and uh, armor that MQ has been doing for over 20 years now. 
uh, we continue to invest in new solutions, lighter solutions, uh, and going forward, we will also be investing uh, more resources uh, in green uh, solutions uh, for uh, the armor business. Wonderful. And I think, you know, uh, by the time uh, we have an expansion plan in place and you have your, you know, foray into the various market, uh, standing here in DACI, it's very important to also understand that are you just limited to land forces and homeland security or do you have a very big base when it comes to naval forces and uh, aerospace? Uh, no, with the range of platform protection solutions, we are uh, having a base with the air uh, uh, forces and the naval forces as well. In Germany, we have uh, armored uh, the F-125 frigates. Uh, so that was a big project uh, we did in the past. Uh, currently, we have uh, projects in hand uh, with the Indian Air Force for armoring some of their helicopters. And as I said, uh, the aviation night vision goggle, while it is uh, worn by a soldier who's flying a helicopter, so it's not really land forces. I would say we are already entering the space of uh, electro-optic solutions in the uh, aviation sector also with our aviation night vision goggle. You have your facilities, current in Kanpur in India and in Germany. Where else are you planning to expand? So we already, uh, the third country where we already have a facility since uh, close to 2015 is in UAE uh, and we are manufacturing a lot over there and exporting from there not only to the GCC region but uh, outside of that as well and uh, globally yes we are selling a lot in South America so hopefully we will have some exciting news uh, in that area as well. Wonderful. And it's so nice to hear you and get to know an insight about a company which is traditionally in the market. And I really hope that the next time when we meet, we have a lot more to talk about, a lot more of orders and a bigger uh, foreign market and a great export budget, a great export earning. Thank you very much, Karan, for Thank speaking you. with us. Thank you so much, ma'am.